you like this video please subscribe and share it don't forget to like it now i am going on topic is matrices and determinants now our first one let a is equal to 1 0 0 2 1 0 3 2 1 if u1 e2 are column matrices such that a u1 value 1 0 0 and a u2 equal to 0 1 0 then u1 plus u2 is equal to now a u1 plus a u1 plus a u2 is equal to now 1 0 0 plus 0 1 0 is equal to now a common u1 plus u2 u1 plus u1 plus u2 is equal to 1 1 0 okay now u1 plus u2 is equal to u1 plus u2 is equal to a inverse into 1 1 0 a inverse into 1 1 0 okay now first find a inverse first find a inverse now here this one equation 1 equation 1 now here a is equal to 1 0 0 2 1 0 3 2 1 okay now a inverse is equal to now a inverse is equal to 1 by delta a into a joint a okay first find delta a delta a means now we are 1 into 1 minus 0 1 remaining are 0 now delta here delta a is equal to 1 delta a is equal to 1 now a joint a a joint a means find first year cofactors of a cofactors of a now transpose of cofactors of a is called a adjoint a now cofactors of a cofactors of a okay now here shortcut method now you take middle row middle element 1 0 2 1 1 0 2 1 next 2 1 3 2 2 1 3 2 next 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 now again 1 0 2 1 1 0 2 1 okay now here Okay, now a joint A is equal to a joint A is equal to now here 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 is 1 okay next 0 minus 2 okay now here this row write down into this one Now 1 minus 0, 1. Now 0 minus 2, minus 2. Okay, 4 minus 3, minus 1. Okay, next 0. 1 minus 0, 1. Now 0 minus 2, minus 2. Okay, now 0. 0 1 minus 0 is 1 now that is the adjoint a now therefore a inverse is equal to 1 by that a into 1 by 1 into adjoint a 1 0 0 minus 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 0 minus 1 minus 2 0 
Now a inverse value is 1 0 0 minus 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 0. Okay, now from equation 1, a inverse value, this one. Now, now u1 plus u2 is equal to u1 plus u2 is equal to, now a inverse value is 1 0 0 1 0 0 minus 2 1 0 minus 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 0 minus 1 minus 2 0 okay into 1 1 0 1 1 0 okay multiply both now here u1 plus u2 is equal to now 1 into 1, 1 next 0, 0. Now u1 plus u2 is equal to u1 plus u2 is equal to 1 plus 0 plus 0, now 1. Now minus 2 plus 1 plus 0 minus 1. Now minus 1, okay, now here minus 1, you know, now 0. Uh, this one, okay, 1 minus 0 is 1. Now, first this one, uh, 1 minus 0, 4 minus 3 here, plus 1 is there. 4 minus 3, plus 1. Now, here also, plus 1. Now, plus 1. Now, 1 minus 2, plus 0, and here also, minus 1. Therefore, u1 plus u2 is equal to 1 minus 1 minus 1. Fourth one is the correct one. Fourth one is the correct one. Next one. If x power a into y power b is equal to e power m, x power c into y power d equal to e power m. Delta 1 and delta 2, delta 3 values are given. Now, find the values of x and y. Okay, now here given... x power a into y power b x power a into y power b is equal to e power m taking log on both sides log log of x power a into y power b is equal to log of e power m okay now log x power a plus log x power b log x power a plus log y power b is equal to log e power m. Now, log a power n, n log a, a log x plus b log y is equal to m log e. Okay, log e value is 1. Now, is equal to m now equation one okay next one x power c into y power d is equal to e power m same taking log on both sides log x power c into y power d is equal to log e power m okay now c log x c log x plus d log y is equal to n. Now, equation 2. Okay, now here, these two equations convert into matrix form. Now here, a is equal to, let a is equal to a, b, c, d and x is equal to log x log y and d is equal to m n d is equal to m n okay now using cromer's rule okay first here delta 1 
delta 1 means now interchanging first column AC, now replaced by D, M, M. Okay, now here delta 3 value AD minus BC. Delta 3 value is AD minus BC. Okay, now delta 3 is equal to A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Now A, D minus B, C. Delta 3. Okay, now here first delta 1. Okay, now delta 1 is equal to now, interchanging first column AC, now here write down MN, now BD, now MD minus DM minus BN, DM minus BN, DM minus BN. Okay, now, according to Cromer's rule, x value is delta 1 by delta, y value is delta 2 by delta, or z value delta 3 by delta. Okay, now here, x means now log x, log x base c is equal to, this value is delta, delta 3, now this value is delta 1, now delta 1 by delta 3, delta 1 by Delta 3. Now, x means log x base c is equal to log x base c is equal to delta 1 by delta 3. Delta 1 by delta 3. Now, x is equal to e power delta 1 by delta 3, e power delta 1 by delta 3. Next here, y means log y, log y is equal to, now, now replacing c to mn, now delta 2 is equal to, Debt of AC MN. AC MN. Now MA minus MC. MA minus MC. Now Y value log Y is equal to log Y is equal to delta 2 by delta. Delta 2 by delta means delta 2 by delta 3. Here delta is equal to delta 3. Now delta 2 by delta means delta 2 by delta 3. Here delta is equal to delta 3 means log y base c is equal to delta 2 by delta 3. Now y is equal to e power delta 2 by delta 3. E power delta 2 by delta 3. Therefore, x is equal to e power delta 1 by delta 3 and y is equal to e power delta 2 by delta 3. Therefore, option 4 is the correct one.